the controversial ordinance uh, that the Rajasthan government, what's been called the gag order, has now been challenged in court. A petition has been filed against this ordinance that bars courts from taking up private complaints against public servants. Remember, this will mean serving former judges, lawmakers, ministers and officials. So there can be no probes, no FIRs against them without the government sanction. Harsha Kumari Singh following this latest development. Harsha, the, uh, the Rajay government was supposed to present this code of criminal procedure, the Rajasthan Amendment Bill, to replace this ordinance during this assembly session. Perhaps even today there were some reports that... Uh, uh, is no longer going to go ahead. What has happened? What's the latest? Well, effectively, it's just uh, the the uh, challenge to the ordinance has just been predicted in court. The court really hasn't uh, stayed it so far. Uh, but uh, let's see what happens because definitely during this three-day session, it was supposed to come up. So now the ball is really in the high court court, uh, and of course, there's been widespread opposition to this entire ordinance. So we are expecting a lot of action today. As of now, we know that it's been challenged as unconstitutional. A Supreme Court judgment has also been quoted in this. Uh, so uh, let's just see how that pans out today. Sarah. Okay, so do we know anything about who has uh, filed this petition challenging this gag is, order in court? No, it is a, it's, a, it, it's a PIL. But actually the lawyer behind it is a, is a lawyer who's been very well known for human rights cases. Uh, A.K. Jain, he's taken up many such cases in public interest. So uh, he is the lawyer for this case, though, of course, an individual has filed with CIS. All right, Harshav, also we're getting some shots that are, uh, I think they're taken from outside uh, the court where this petition is being filed. Can you uh, take us through what's going on there? Harsha? All right, we seem to have lost the line there with uh, Harsha, but I think these are uh, images you're seeing on your screens taken from outside uh, that court. I think these are uh, images of uh, Congress workers protesting e either outside the court or outside the assembly against this Rajasthan gag, government gag order. As Harsha pointed out, it's uh, been a controversial order. It has uh, created a lot of reactions and the Editors Guild of India has requested the Rajasthan government to withdraw its ordinance it's that shields public servants from being probed. The ordinance also makes it a crime for the media to name the accused till the government decides that the public servant concerned can be investigated. The ordinance is set to be introduced in the state assembly as Harsha pointed out there over the next three days. The Guild has called it a pernicious instrument to harass the media, hide wrongful acts by government servants and drastically curb the freedom of the press. The Guild said that rather than taking stern measures to prevent and punish those who indulge in frivolous or false litigation, the Rajasthan government has passed an ordinance that is bent on bludgeoning the messenger. While the Guild has always stood for fair, balance and rep responsible reporting of FIRs. It believes that the remedy being employed by the Rajasthan government is draconian and gives it unparalleled power to even imprison journalists for reporting matters of public interest.